Enoch, the man who walked to heaven. Enoch was born not very long after God had created the earth. In fact, when Enoch was born, Adam, the first man, was still alive. Enoch was a very special guy. He wasn't special because he was super smart or because he had lots of stuff or because he was a really nice guy. No, those things don't matter much to God at all. Enoch was so special to God because he knew God. He was close to God. He walked with God. And God liked that a lot. Because Enoch was God's friend and companion, he didn't need to know where he would go or what he would do tomorrow. He didn't need to know where God was taking him. He was just happy to be God's friend. Even though God was in heaven and Enoch was on earth, That didn't stop Enoch from being close to God. Even though Enoch couldn't touch God with his earth hands or see God with his earth eyes, that didn't stop Enoch from walking with God. He was close to God with his heart and with his mind and with his spirit. When Enoch woke up in the morning, he didn't think about all the fun things he wanted to do today. He thought only about what God wanted, and he talked to God. Good morning, God. What are you thinking about today? What would make you happy today? And when Enoch walked through the town during the day, he didn't think, Hey, that guy has a nice house. Or, that person has lots of fun things. I wish I had things like that. Instead, he thought, All these things I am seeing with my earth eyes are just around for a little while. But God, you are unseen. What else is unseen? What do you see? God, I love you so much and I love everything about you. I want to see what you see. And because Enoch lived his life like that, talking to God all throughout the day about everything that happened, Enoch started to deeply know God. And as Enoch and God became closer and closer friends, God changed what Enoch could see. Enoch started to see not just the seen world, but the unseen world too. Now, when Enoch walked through the town, he didn't just see people and houses and stuff. He could actually see that there was a whole different world, an invisible world, right in front of him. Most people can't see this invisible unseen world, but Enoch could because he saw with heaven eyes. Every day as Enoch walked and talked with God, Enoch and God became really good friends. They talked together all the time. One day, as Enoch was walking along, talking with God and enjoying his company, God said, Hey Enoch, just come on up here. Let's finish this conversation face to face. I really want you to come up here and be with me in heaven right now. Well, Enoch sure liked the sound of that. So, poof, Enoch disappeared to the human eye, but to heaven eyes, he was right where he belonged. Nope, he didn't die. God just liked Enoch so much that he took Enoch to come be with him. And now, happy, happy, happy Enoch would get to be with God in heaven forever and ever. I want to be that kind of friend to God just like Enoch was. Don't you?